and get her and back here with it. You know, Ernest Sanders at 475 Sports TV. It's your boy Cam. Got class of 2020. Yeah. Rod receiver, BB. Um, how you how you feeling right now, man? You know you got a big off season, a lot of offers, and you you know you had a special commitment. Yeah. So what's new? Nothing. I'm just ready for the season, ready to work. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Um, you know, you're a dual sport athlete as well, too. Knowing that, um, do you feel like playing varsity basketball and football helped you evolve as an overall athlete? Yeah. You know, football, my jumping, my basketball, my jumping, doing basketball, you know, helped out in football on the field a lot. I could jump up and defend just, you know, catch the ball. Yeah. Um, what do you feel like your best, like your strongest, the strongest, the strongest area of your game is? Yeah, I'm pretty fast. You was a Division One recruit. Um, how does that feel, like you know, being recruited and that whole process within itself? Uh, it's a blessing, you know, for schools to come out and you know look at me. Cause I'm a, it's, it's a blessing for me. Actually. Yeah. Do you feel like it was any pressure now that you're like a senior? It's your last ride right at the buck, going to your like you know what I'm saying, like your last year. No pressure. I ain't, you know I ain't stressing over that. I'm be humble about it. I ought to have a good season, you know, help my team. I win as much games as we can. That's the plan. Um, one of my questions I want to ask you, you know, you Mr. Kentucky now, you all committed. Do you feel like that took a, like, a lot of load off you? you well, yeah, a lot, a lot. So, you know, not as much as schools are, you know, contacting me as they were, but, you know, just, I can focus on school now and focus on my team, you know, yeah. both in football and basketball. Well, I can tell you, we want to know. What, what, what made you choose Kentucky? Let the world know. We want to know. It felt like home, you know. I feel like outside of sports at Kentucky, I can grow as a as a student, and you know, more importantly, as a person. Yeah, you know, the coaches and all and everything. So I feel like home. Yeah. Well, he, you know, you had like you know, former wide receiver, <laughs> coach, and a, and a player help you develop this past off season. How was that? Like, how was that experience? Uh, it was good. You know, good experience because he he knows. You know, he knows the route to get where he's been. He's been to the highest level of sports, football, and everything. So I just, I'm going to learn as much as I can from him and, you know, try to take it to the next level, and hopefully it works out. Well, you know, that's what's up. You know, you got a lot going for you. Me, I want to know, I want to know this. Do you have any special song, any favorite regimen, any favorite food you got to do? Going into a Friday night that you gotta listen to, you know what I'm saying? Songs you gotta listen to. What, what what do you do to, you know what I'm saying, get yourself locked in? I just listen to anything and I, we usually eat pizza before a game, so just, you know, a couple slices of pizza, that'll be straight. Yeah. For yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing you ball this year, bro. Good luck. Right. You know, stay healthy. Yeah, appreciate stay positive, it. Bro. Right. It's your boy Cam. Here with 475 Sports TV. Um, I got Big Devin Reynolds out of Flint Beecher, class of 2022. And what's your position you play? D type of no line. O line? That's what's up. Um, you know, like what's what's been up? What's, what's been up with you? Like we ain't heard much of Devin Reynolds. Yeah, so what's, what's been You're new? Never hear about me this year. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, so like, what, what's new? Anything new that's been going on in your life? Just trying to get stronger, you have to wait long throughout the summer. Yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. um, so what made you want to play football? Um, physical, it's aggressive, and my head. Yeah. Um, so, um, Devin, knowing that you like one of the young guys and know you're going to the going into the season, how do it feel? How do it feel knowing that you're gonna be one of the, you know what I'm saying, con contributors to the team this year? Well, it feels awesome. I want to play with my teammates, get prepared so we can win, try to go to the championship. Yeah. That's, that's what's up. Um, what have you done this offseason to, like, to elevate your game, to you know become a better player? Well, I've just been in the weight room, working with my teammates, trying to uh, play basketball and stuff, hoop around, you know, shit like that. Yeah. yeah. You got a favorite meal? You like a big dude. <laughs> and what you like to eat on? Spaghetti. Spaghetti? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. I feel that. Um, what's like, what's something that you do, you know what I'm saying, to keep you at a, 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 a peace of mind and to mellow up? What you do to have fun? I just stay out the way. Usually play the game or I just be on my phone. 
chill. Yeah, you separate myself from stuff. That's what's up, man. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you ball this year, bro. You feel me? I want you to wake a lot of people up. Uh, appreciate you coming out. All right, it's your boy Cam. Be back here at it, 475 Sports TV. I got my boy James coming. What's going on with you, man? Uh, nothing, nothing going on with you, nothing new? Nah, just ready for the season. Just getting pre prepared for it? Yeah. Yeah, I see you a young bull too. So how that feel like, you know, it's been your first real season where you gotta go out there and be actually productive for the squad? Uh, it really ain't no change. I mean, I've been like, I've been getting prepared for this since I was real little. Yeah. Yeah. I've been like with the beach coach since I was like real small. So I'm really familiar with all the coaches and all this big time stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up, man. Um, you a dual sport athlete too, right? Yeah. Um, how, how does it feel, you know, like trans, trans, transferring your game off the court onto the field? Like, what's the uh, biggest adjustment for you? The, the conditioning, because. I mean, basketball condition is way different than football condition. Yeah. And football condition is way different than basketball condition. So yeah, but it helped me get, basketball helped me keep my energy up when I feel though. That's what's up. Your name, your name, James. Yeah. So which name do you prefer, James or Mook? And where did Mook come from? Uh, I mean, it don't matter for me. I like Mook, but I don't, my mama, I don't know where Mook came from. She just started calling me when I was real little, so I, it just kept going. Yeah. 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 Stuck with you from there? Yeah. Well, you know, you it's like playing with Ernest, something that like helps you be more comfortable in your play. Is that somebody you can say you look up to? Yes, I've been playing with uh, him since I was like in fifth, sixth grade. Yeah. So yeah, I've been with him for a while. And I look up, I, re I look up to him. That's what's up. What you want to accomplish this year as a team? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, but, just win as many games as possible and hopefully make it to the fourth field to play for the state championship. Yeah. All right, move. You seem like a pretty straightforward person. Um, what do you do? What What have you done this past offseason to like separate yourself from the younger guys that you're going to be playing with this year? Work. I've been working, working on my speed and my agility and stuff, yeah. lifting, trying to get strong. Because I play linebacker too, so I got to be strong. I like a big old running back or something. <laughs> I gotta be strong for that. Yeah. I don't wanna get ran out. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you ball this year. You feel me? Stay healthy, stay humble, and you know. Appreciate you coming out, bro. Yeah, anytime.